catfish. Now, a catfish is whenever something doesn't go my way, or at least the way I expect it to be. Catfish. I say this so many times where it's like, if I'm going somewhere and I expect it to be lit and it's like not, I'm like, oh, this party was a fucking catfish. Or you know, if like I buy a drink and it's not what I expect it to be, nor was it the same way someone described it to me, catfish. That's my rendition of catfish, and that's what I've been saying all the time is catfish, 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 because so far, nothing has gone my way. Catfish. That just applies to online dating too, when the person you're talking to is not who they are in the photo, or they might look a little bit too off in person, and it's, you know, catfish. So catfish for me doesn't really necessarily just stick to online dating, it sticks to anything that doesn't go the way that I... So this happened yesterday. By the time this video goes up, it will be like a different day, but... But today is July 8th, so yesterday, July 7, I was waking up from like, you know, breath waking up in general. <laughs> so I'm waking up and I... Uh, it's just such a sad story. So I'm waking up and my friend texts me and now I wake up like at 8 a.m. I don't know why, I just do my body, just loves waking up hella early. And my friend texts me and I was in bed all the way till like 11. Now this was a Friday and my boyfriend just flew back from New York on Thursday and I couldn't see him then so Friday was like our day to hang out basically so, we, so my boyfriend and I planned to hang out like around 4 and it was like 11 and then my friend was like hey do you want to like go pass out flyers it's $15 an hour and I was like okay so we're gonna be there till like I'm guessing like cause she was like we're gonna be there till like 5 because one of our friends has to go back to you know basketball practice and I was like alright so 15 around 5 I'll make around like $75 I'm down, let's do it. You know, it was easy money, $75 for like five hours. I'm down, just like passing out flyers. Now I had thought originally that, you know, she was like, we're gonna be in Newport Beach. And so I was like, okay, Newport Beach, you know, little white boys, I'm, I'm down, I love it. And so I was like, you know what? We're gonna be passing out flyers, you know, communicating like, hey, what's up? And I didn't think what was gonna happen. I was like, you know, maybe they'll tell us more information about it when we get there, as I thought. So of course, she's like, okay, be here like an hour, be at my house like an hour. And I'm like, all right, girl, I clap way too much, sorry. So I'm like, you know what, I'll be at your house for like an hour. So we got, I got ready, you know, I was in second day makeup. I was, the night before I had went to go eat and I went home and I was just way too late. So I went to sleep, I woke up and I was still in the same second day makeup. And I was like, you know what, I gotta be here, like, I gotta be at your house in like 40 minutes. So I'll just like redo my bake, basically. So I kept everything on, just redid my bake, just touched up, basically. I get to her place and we get to... Now, <laughs> so since I had thought we were gonna be at, like on a beach, you know, passing out flyers, I looked the part. So I wore like the most skankiest little top with like my big old tits, you know, just revealing out there. I wore the most skimpy little short, like these little heels. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna be standing there passing out flyers. If I look hot, they'll just come up to me for the flyers, basically. So, you know, it'd be one, killing two birds with one stone, basically. You look hot and like, you get the job done. Down. I get to her house and, no, not even get to her house. I'm at home, she, she calls me, she's like, Elena, I just saw your outfit, you have to wear something else because we're going to be in the office. And I was like, office, what? And she was like, yeah, we're going to be in the office, there's going to be, she was like, it's my aunt's real estate agent thing, and she's going to be, it's, it's, we're basically passing out flyers for real estate. And I was like, right off the bat, that should have been my red flag, you know, like, this is not the beach, this is not cute. And so I asked her, I was like, wait, so are we going to be like talking to anyone? She was like, no, we're just going to be literally putting out flyers on their doorsteps and leaving. So I got all hard up for nothing. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? There's no time to like change into a different top. I'm already on my way. So I get to her house and so she gives me like this little card again. She's like, here, cover up when you get to the aunt's, my aunt's office. And I was like, all right, fine, that's chill. I'll do that. And it is hella hot outside. It is fucking hot. I don't know why I agreed to this. So we get there and we got the flyers, we go to the neighborhood. I texted him, I texted my boyfriend, I was like, hey listen, I'm gonna be doing this for a little while, so we might have to, we might have to like move our time a little bit later. And he's like, all right, that's fine, just do your thing. And I'm just like, okay, perfect. So we get there and it's like three, and that's when we barely started because we got to our house like around like one. We got around to Newport till around like two, got the flyers, when we actually started, it was around three. <sighs> you guys, the sun was just so hot. It was insane. Now you guys be th you guys are thinking like, oh, you know, go up to one house at a time. That's that's easy. <sighs> These neighborhoods are huge. They're rich white folks, and so they're 
everything about their houses is so extra. They have the most expensive gates just at the front of the house and these people like they want the the flyers at the mat of the door so we would have to find a way to get into the gate to bring the flyer on their door it was just so extra for no fucking reason so of course you know i'm a good sport so i i got the job done literally oh my god i can't just thinking about it now i'm going to cry you guys it was so hot and I was in heels. Catfish! I was, she did say, you know, well, she did, I gotta give her that. She did say, Elena, wear shoes, wear Vans. I was like, I was like, you know what? These, these shoes are like three inches, I'll manage. Ah! I walked around in these little booties for like up and down neighborhoods and it was hella hot. We all split up. So I was like, oh my God. And these neighborhoods are so long and these houses are so extra. And it was just like, it was just so much extraness that was not fucking needed. I pass out all the flyers, and at this point, I'm like sweating. This is fucking worse than running the mile at school because the running a mile was like 15 minutes. This was going on for like two hours of just pure passing out flyers. And here's the thing the event is the next day, and so we're passing out flyers the day before. And so I'm thinking, like, this is so last minute. I honestly doubt anyone is going to show up. But I'm a good sport and I'm in it for the money, so let's do it anyways. So I'm doing all that and then I just am, I, I'm exhausted. My, I was like sweating so much, I tried blotting, but instead I just blotted my makeup off. So then you can see my real skin under. And my real skin, like at that point, looks very gray. For some reason, some of my friends were like, Elena, your skin, why is it like that color? Why is it gray? Are you like a robot? And so eventually they nicknamed me Hot Bot because I looked like a hot robot because I was like all like, I look like the perfect little feminine little thing and like big boobs and everything but I was like rubbing off here so I look like a robot like just got broken. My new name my new name is Hotbot now so whatever I got that done. So I was like you know what we already got this much done we already got half the houses done can we please go eat cause I yes I still haven't ate bre I still haven't eaten breakfast yet so it was like at 4 in the afternoon and I did not eat breakfast cause I was on a rush to get out. So the guys were like yeah let's go get McDonald's I'm like yes I'm so down. So we go to McDonald's, I don't know what came over me, but I got literally a cheeseburger and a soda. I could have gotten a meal, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna go for a cheeseburger and a soda. Stupid. So I did that, and then I came back, and we continued passing a paper play like it was five. Oh my god. It was just so much work. By then, I, was, I kind of cooled down, but I still was kind of hot. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just keep going around more. And I, I oh gosh. So I passed out more flyers, and... At this point, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to make it in 10. It was like it was like 7. I was like, hey, baby, can we please, like, I'm so tired. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten all day. My feet are, like, he, he, it, it was like a nice fancy dinner day. So he wanted me to, like, you know, get all dressed up, wear heels, and, you know, just be really fancy looking, like, hot dinner day. And I was like, you know, it's totally down for. And at that night, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm honestly, I have so many blisters. I'm sweating. I'm so... So I'm sweating so much. My body feels so sticky. I don't feel sexy. I'm like, can we please postpone this? And he was like, I just got back from New York. I really wanted to see you. I'm just like, oh my God, I feel so bad. So I was like, you know what? Well, I'll make it happen tonight, but it'll be a little bit later. So he was like, all right, that's fine. So it's have dinner like around six or seven. We postponed it to eight to nine. Ah. So we get back to get paid and we finish around like seven. So we go, we go back to get paid and tell me how instead of 15 an hour she goes we're gonna give you 20 per 100 flyers that you've given out and she gave us like 1200 flyers and we had like 200 300 leftovers and i was like wait a minute so we did the math and it was like each person would have gotten like 30 bucks and i'm just like i beg your pardon what so we were um, on the drive there, we were just like, oh my god, this payment is going to be so shitty. Oh my god, oh my god. We just sweated and did all this for only 30 bucks, and we were just all like, dude, that's like a 20 and a 10. And we were just cracking jokes. Like, the girls were like, I can't even get my nails done with that money. And it was just like, we, there was just so much sweat and walking in this. Like, you guys, going up and down the neighborhoods is tragic. It's a mess. It's, it's too much. So after we got that done, she ended up giving us 40 each, and I was like, you know what, this is, uh, whatever, I am tired, I want to go home, and on the drive back, a dead ass, everyone was just like quiet, silent, because they're just so tired, and the girl who brought us into this, she was just like, I am so sorry, guys, I am so sorry, I did not know it's going to be like this, and I'm just like, you know what, oh. so I'm like, you know what, I was like, I texted my boyfriend, I was like, you know, I'm going home right now, get ready, shower, be at my house in like 30 minutes, I got this. 
So I got home at 30, literally went from like the most sweaty little thing ever to the most gorgeous goddess princess. And I went out to dinner and I made that shit happen. But guys, I was catfish. At, at that money point when they gave us the money, I was like, this is a catfish. I did not sign up for this. I signed up for $75 and I'm getting 30? What? And she was like, do you guys want to do this every, she was like, do you guys want to do this like every weekend? I was like, every fucking weekend. Maybe um, I'm down because it's kind of like a good workout because I did sweat a lot, but every fucking weekend, like, do they throw like a party every every single fucking weekend? Anyways, what we were flying around were like pool parties things. And so I'm going to go to that in a second. So, you know, it's like a real estate thing. So I had to look very proper and looking like, oh yeah, I'm here to buy a home. I want this one that you're throwing the party at. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys that story because it's not really interesting, but it was just like fucking hell. Like I was just like, I've never in my life gone through that much of like a hell. What I mean, I mean, I have. I'm being exaggerated, but that was just so much, and it was just so much going on. It was sweating. I was the heat was beaming on me, and I was just the most sluttiest little princess. This Lamborghini pulled over and thought I was a prostitute. Ah! But anyways, that was the story of when I was catfish. So you guys, lesson learned from today. When you guys sign up for anything or just want to do anything, look really into... Am I even focused? Look really into this thing that you are signing up for or something because you don't want to be catfish like me. I got catfish and it's the worst thing ever. I wonder if I've ever gotten catfish on a date before. Let me think. I don't, I, maybe I had a guy who didn't, yes! Okay, so, since we're on the topic of catfish, one time I went out with this guy, he, um, he looked like this buff guy on Tinder. He was so buff and just like, yes! And then, when I met him, you can tell he had given up on the gym, and so he was kind of like a little chubs, and I was like, something's not adding up. So I was like, how old are these photos? And he was like, no, this was like three, this was like two years ago. So I was like, how old are these photos? He was like, oh yeah, these photos are like two years ago. And I was like, dude, why would you use photos from two years ago as your Tinder pick as what you are now? This is two years ago. You've clearly changed in those two years. And here's the real gag. Today, I would still see him on Tinder like when I, when I was like, a few months ago. They were the same fucking pictures. What? So in a toto, the pictures that were on his Tinder were the exact same ones when I had first went out with him. So that those photos were literally four years old. I literally super liked his ass. And I said, dude, change your fucking photos because I have you on Snapchat and this and this does not add up. Change your fucking current photo to something recent, please. For the sake of all us women, do it. So of course he did, but that was my only catfish story. I'm pretty sure there's more. I have to think about it. But anyways, that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you guys ever been catfish. I love reading catfish stories. I watched the show Catfish so many times. It's just so funny because you can literally be catfish for almost anything. But give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. There'll be linked down below. And until my next video, bye guys.